Okay, guys. First cold start on the Renegade. Will she start? Y'all like it in red? In white? Green? Or in yellow? Let me know. Join Renegade. Let's go. Let's ride, baby. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Renegade. As you can see, we are on the Renegade. As y'all can see, we got a new dipstick. As y'all can see, the other one was just tore slapped up. Also got some fluid right here. As you can see, she's about empty. Also, I ordered a battery latch uh, for that. So I gotta wait till that come in. And today I wanna straighten out my headlights. As y'all can see, we got these gaps right here. As you can see right there. I can see, let's see if we get it right in the hole. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's build this bad boy up. I don't have no leaks uh, anywhere. Um, I was just low, I told y'all I had to top it off. But anyway, we're gonna fill it up and then we're gonna turn the Renegade on and we just gonna let the air pockets come out. And also guys, I want to put a bolt through this side right here and try to tighten it up so we can hold this belt box all together with no issues. I mean, is it me or I'm not trying to mess my threads so. up? <laughs> try to screw this one in. It's so weird. Honestly, we might need to do an oil change. I probably should have bought some oil while I was up here, but I wasn't thinking about it, but should be fine for right now so guys i found a trick to get this plastic guy on without any issues just lube it up with some oil and you be fine and don't over tighten it what if it had an o-ring did i put an o-ring on it oh gosh i gotta back her back up she don't have no o-ring i'm already failing does she not have an o y'all Wait, 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 can y'all gave me a dipstick with no, come on now. So without damage, uh, this piece, make sure y'all get it off real nice and slow. All right, guys, we got the old ring transferred. Probably should've just got a new one, but this one be fine. Anyway, let's repeat this again, nice and slow. You see how that's twisting in? As y'all can see, she, it's screwed in all right guys our fluid is actually pretty good i'm not going to overfill it but i am going to turn the can down on uh just to let the air bubbles and all that out so guys all we got to do is just remove these two bolts right here um i'm using a God damn, I'm using the T27 on the back side. I do need a wrench. I don't know what side I need, but I need a wrench on the back side. So guys, all y'all need is just a 10 mil on the other side. I got a, 10, uh, a T27 on this side, so. Loosen up. Probably should just use my drill, but I like wrenching. Let you know. Now on the other side, I think it's gonna be pretty harder. It's gonna be pretty hard. I'm supposed to get uh, get a haircut today, but went for first. If you got if you got small hands, good good thing you got small hands because a person with you know medium sized hands can't really fit in there. This thing is kind of like behind. You gotta sneak it on there. I got it on there now. But we're gonna see if we can try to get her off. Might be a pain. Might not. Make sure she's not spinning too. Take oh. a drill with. Her. She's spinning. I think she's spinning. 
As a matter of fact, guys, I think I came to a conclusion. If I could just loosen it up, I can, you know, put it back in. Now, if uh, if I can, I might have to loosen this boat up just to hit, just to get it where it uh, need to be at, and then we should we should be a okay. You get what I'm saying? So excited. Yeah, if we get that boat loosened, we should be straight. Probably go ahead and put this one back, that boat back in. Let's try to loosen that one. Guys, compared to that side and that side, we do have like a much better difference. Uh, like I said, the boot, uh, I said the boots, the boats are loose. And I'm trying to test my luck on this backside boat. I had went through many wrenches from a 10 to a nine. And I'm at the eight, so hopefully it will work. If not, then I am doomed. Like, doomed. All right, guys, left side is done. We don't have nothing like that side. So let's get this side straight. Oh, yeah, guys, we got the body lines back to spec. Oh, my gosh. Woo. So, guys, unfortunately, I'm using it, uh, M6 head bolts. Um, I am missing, well, I was missing that one, that one has strip um, right there. And also I'm just missing one on the bottom side. Um, and I made sure my drain plug was cleared and all that. We just got to put a plug on there. But overall, uh, looking good. Just need to tighten these bolts up, make sure everything is all right. Well, unfortunately this is not going to work. I tried fitting it through this, so I might have to order a bolt just to put that on, but we're just going to have been freak one missing. Oh my gosh, it's looking pretty damn good. Y'all let me know. She just need to get it washed up. Also, I probably need to work on trying to get this uh, stuck um, winch out because this winch be coming in clutch. I remember when I was on the trail at one point in time, I was like stuck in the mud. A good thing we had trees around. I was able to get myself pulled out. So very handy, 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 handy. Anyway, that's what we got so far. Only thing we have to do is just get our battery tray right here. Um, don't ask me why I use the zip ties. These tight, but I did just to keep wires and all that in place. But overall, the thing just needs to get washed up. That's pretty much it. Let me know if I should add a rack on the back side. I'm thinking about uh, adding a rack. I love roof racks, um, like for cars and stuff. So I might end up putting one on my bike so we can have like a cooler or something. So you guys just let me know. So everything cool down here. We got that nice and tight. We got our coolant filled up in here. Nice and good. So yeah. <laughs> 